Okay, so in this first exercise, we're going to take a look at just some of the user interface of Softimage. Um, so let's just start off by bringing in just a primitive. Uh, we could choose something simple like a, you know, just a sphere or a torso or something. But we actually have some characters down here. So let's go ahead and bring in XSI Man. And this will bring in a uh, fully rigged up character that we can uh, begin to uh, experiment with and uh, dive through the UI. So I'm just going to close these property pages that uh, appeared. Uh, if you press the... Uh, the A key, if you notice when you click in any viewport, it activates the viewport by putting this box around it, and you can see which viewport is then active. Uh, pressing A will frame all of the objects in your scene. So here you can see I've uh, framed uh, the character there. Uh, we could also go full screen on here and see this a bit closer. Using the, uh, the scroll wheel, we're able to zoom in or out. Uh, you could also hold down the P key, which will allow you to, uh, to zoom in or out as well. Uh, one thing to quickly point out, the, uh, the hotkeys are fully customizable, and if you go under the File Keyboard Mapping options, we can actually change this from the default Softimage keyboard mapping to uh, a Maya keyboard mapping or a 3D Studio Max mapping uh, if you're coming from either one of those packages to make it a bit more easier to make your, uh, your transition. We'll just keep it as the, uh, the Softimage layout for now to keep things consistent. So if we uh, select our character and you press the selection button here on our, the right side of the interface, you can see we have a list of uh, essentially everything that is attached to the piece of geometry that uh, we have selected or the object. Now in this case I only have the geometry selected uh, because I press the selection button. If you push the scene button here, this will actually bring up a list of uh, your scene explorer and everything that's associated with the scene. The model that we brought in, or the character, is fully contained inside this area right here. By pressing the plus key, this expands all of those parameters, and now I can see the full history and the full construction method of the uh, of the character here. There's the uh, piece of object called man, which is the skin, and you can see that selected. Uh, this view right here is a floating view. I could press the number 8 key, which is a hot key, to bring up our scene explorer as an actual window. And from here, I can then continue to navigate through the, uh, through the scene. This is something that's very important to, uh, to start to dive into when learning Softimage, is how this whole uh, construction history, how this whole scene explorer works. You'll find every parameter, every option, everything that controls the way a character or an object behaves, uh, you'll find that data inside the, uh, the explorer. By pushing on any one of these buttons here, it'll bring up the, uh, the associated property that you're uh, attempting to edit. Uh, everything from materials, um, you know, here we have display parameters, geometry, approximation settings, etc. Uh, just to talk a little bit about more the user inter interface, uh, we could switch our viewport here to any one of these different types of viewing modes from shaded, textures, uh, real-time shaders as well, which we'll talk about later for uh, DirectX 9, 10, and, and also uh, OpenGL effects. Uh, we can also change our viewport, of course, to, uh, to different types of views, you know, your standard top, front, right. But then there's also things like the render tree, the explorer, which we just looked at, uh, the schematic view. And in fact, if I just go back to uh, four windows here, let's just take a look at some of these different views. For instance, the schematic is a, uh, it's a very interesting way of looking at your scene. It uses uh, nodes to show you the uh, parent-child relationships. You can see uh, many different types of constraints or really just how objects are associated with one another. Uh, through here. You can select objects um, in the uh, in this area here. Uh, schematic view is just a, again just a different way of looking at your uh, at your scene. Uh, the render tree we'll talk about more later which is your uh, pipeline into mental ray. Uh, ice as well we'll discuss in a later tutorial. But again these are just the different uh, views that allow you to access the different uh, functionality found within Softimage. Over here on the left we have our main toolbar. Uh, this basically changes when you switch between the different modules within Softimage. Uh, you switch modules by pressing 1, 2, 3, or 4, which go to Model, Animate, Simulate, uh, and Render. And you can see it's very, uh, very subtle what happens, just the changing over here on the left. One of the things that I really like about the interface is everything is done with words, so there's not a lot of icons that you have to learn. Uh, in fact, you can usually uh, just talk yourself through the interface. If you want to you know, create a brand new polygon or a grand, brand new poly mesh out of something, it's probably under the model create poly mesh setting, and you'll find those tools are, are available inside of there. Uh, if we go back here to, uh, to full screen on this guy, we can uh, talk a little bit more about the, the UI. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have our play controls, um, standard play controls. We also have a scripting window down here at the bottom. This will log everything that you do in the, uh, in the system, thereby selecting that object. You can see it log the select object command. Pressing this little icon right here, this little script window, this will bring up uh, basically every, this is your scripting window, and this will also show you an echo of everything that you've done 
through your uh, entire session. One of the fantastic things about Soft Image is that it uses any ActiveX compliant scripting language. So right now I'm in VB script, but simply by going into the preferences here, I can set this to be any scripting language that I might happen to have installed. Um, I've installed Python, and by default, JScript comes with, uh, comes with Windows. Another great thing is by switching to any one of these languages, and if I close this up, you'll see that, if you may have noticed that, every single one of the commands that I've done was then re-echoed in the new syntax. So this is fantastic if you're scripting. You can easily uh, log a bunch of commands if you found out you were in the wrong or different uh, scripting option that you prefer. Simply change the option and every one of your commands will re-echo uh, in, uh, in that new syntax. So you can then easily cut and paste that, uh, that into, your, uh, into your script. Uh, any script can also be turned into a button on your command which can then be uh, assigned a hotkey as well. Over here on the right, this is our main command panel. This is where you find uh, different selection filters. Uh, we've already talked a little bit about the scene explorer. Here we have things like your scale rotation translation settings, uh, different snapping tools, one of the few places that you'll see icons. Uh, here you'll find all of your constraints uh, for constraining objects to one another, pose constraints, orientation constraints, etc. And here we also have tools for grouping objects together and uh, freezing or uh, freezing just the modeling stack, which we'll talk about later. Uh, also, lastly at the bottom here, uh, we have the keying panel. This is a, a very Maya-like uh, workflow for setting your transforms. Uh, also for Maya users, if you go under the uh, optional panels, we have a shelf that you can turn on, and this gives you functionality very similar to what you find in, uh, in Autodesk Maya. So with that in mind, that's a little bit of uh, just the, basics, you, the basic UI of uh, Softimage. We'll uh, definitely be exploring a lot more of these uh, tools in, uh, in some of the actual tutorials.